Good morning, friends. It's Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain, and Philip and I are in Kentucky at the homestead. So the first thing on our agenda was the canopy had been blowing in the wind um, that we saw on security camera, and we knew we had a problem with our canopy. Now the canopy is over the RV, and it protects it from the weather, and it also helps prevent any leak issues that we might have here in the RV. What had actually happened was the poles had broken off. The canopy was anchored down. It's anchored to the ground at the corners. It was anchored to the tree line. Um, and it's just been up for, I wanna say we put it up three years ago. I'd have to check for sure. So it's over those last three years, it's taken a beating with the wind and the rain and the snow load. And you know, it just needed some maintenance. And so two of the poles broke off. One was breaking. It wasn't completely broken off yet, but it was about three quarters of the way broken. And then also one of the joints on the corner uh, broke. So join us as we repair and replace these broken poles and get this canopy back together so that it can protect our RV. When we first arrived here at the homestead, the very first task that we needed to accomplish was assess the damage that the canopy was doing to the RV. The canopy was resting on top of the slide, but thankfully in such a way that it did not cause any damage to the top. We were able to get it off and secure it until we could do a more permanent Turn it. Turn it. You're not lined up. Turn it. Screw it. It's probably jamming it up. Turn it. Yeah, there it is. Turn it. There. Now let it slide in there. Good. So just to give you an update about what's going on with this canopy, um, this pole that's right here, we added that. The original pole is this broken one here, and the joint is actually broken right there. And we put this other pole here temporarily to lift that off of the slide. The canopy was resting on the slide there. It also broke off right up there as well as here. So one of our projects is going to be shifting this canopy and getting it secured before we go. I haven't any idea how we're going to do that, but I'm sure Philip has a plan.
you ran your strap, put your pulley up on the tree, large cedar tree, large tree of some sort. Now you're coming back. Now you're, what you're doing is every time you go through a pulley, twice the strength that you're pulling. With. So pulling with 10 pounds is actually 20 pounds. So now what you're going to do is you want to get yourself in a position where you're going to tie off. That cedar tree that's up there to your right is the direction you're going. The main thing is that we're pulling tension on this whole canopy to pull it straight back in a certain direction. Sometimes I gotta manipulate the pulleys and make it pull where there's no truth because I gotta put two straps in. Right now what you're doing is you're gonna pull the tension. I'm gonna pull the canopy back over, which keeps it off the RV and keeps pressure on the front. We might put a permanent white strap on this after we're done, but it'll be tied up, tied up. You're gonna pull slash, do not stand on ropes ever, ever. Pull slack and work your way. Remember, you gotta have a bite, okay? And then you're gonna walk around that tree and tie it off. So right there, that's what you want. You're already pulled tight enough. So I go ahead, just a little bit extra in case you let go. More? More. Come down low because you're tearing that cedar tree in. Good, right there, right there. Pull a bite, get your hands away from the tree in case it slips, you'll be stuck. Take that bite and go around the tree. That's plenty. Never lose it. Always keep your hand on that, that rope you have to so it don't slip. Throw it over the top. But uh, 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 uh. well, you can go one more. That's fine. It ain't gonna hurt it. There. Now put the rope over the top. Reach down through the hole. Grab the bike. Pull it tight. No, don't slide it. Just pull it tight. It will cinch. Do it again. Right. There you go. That's it. Here my rope work is pulling the canopy over and securing it while we make the repair. The canopy is secured to the cedar tree and then the rope is fed through the pulley and then it's attached to another tree while we make this repair. These ladders are awesome. I like the fact that a lot of them come with adjustable legs now. Pull legs out for me. Pull the legs out for me. Now this this canopy is just a temporary cover. It has been until we built the harder structure for the RV. There's no sense in taking this pole out when I'm only about four and a half inches, maybe five inches shorter. So what? I'll just suck in this pole. It just means that this entrance will be a bit, little bit narrower. It's not a big deal. actually leverage because the top of this sucker has been bent just a little bit. I needed to get the poles lined up. Right now this thing's sagging so bad that my poles were offset. So you needed to bend this, hence picking this up to put me more in line. Then I can hammer it in and get set. Once I get this done, then we can pull that pole back out and set it in place. Okay? I need to have the drill please. I'm balancing here. You want to
this one. I've got to install another hole. Game plan, switch it, understand? I gotta lift that off, take out the crap that's in there, and then put this back on. Okay? How are you gonna hold it up there? My shoulders. And you're gonna pry it in there. It back and forth. She's pulling on me. Pull out. You gotta get the angle. Go towards the block, babe. This way. That way. There. Hold on. Give me. Stop. Give me the orange. The tarp itself has been replaced more than one time over the time that this canopy has been assembled. However, the wind has done a number on the tarp and has loosened it over time. Philip is taking time to secure the ropes and make sure that the tarp itself is secured to the canopy frame so that it can withstand the weather here in Kentucky. Now it became our piece to go up there for an anchor. I'm just going to take these two ends together. Instead of taking two ropes together and tying a knot, I'm taking the two loops. Just like we do on a tarp so we don't have to disconnect these. These knots will hold. This material doesn't hold very well. canopy is already anchored to the trees and also to the ground. However, we went ahead and added a couple of more anchor points to give the canopy some added security. Up the frame. The whole thing's tweaked.
Hickory. That's Hickory. Yeah, all the way down. We think that that is good for now. So we replace that middle joint that's right up there. We replaced the two broken poles that are here and here. And then we had one other pole over here that was breaking. So we went ahead and cut that off and replaced it. Um, we did anchor the tarp in two more places. It's anchored in a few places already, but we anchored it two more times to trees on the hillside there. And then finally, Philip re-secured the tarps on the top so they don't flap so much. So hopefully those repairs that we've made to this canopy will give us another year that we need it to last. Um, our plan is we're going to move the RV to the top of the hill up here the building site of our home um, so hopefully we got some more time out of this one and keep our RV sheltered from the weather as always we appreciate you so much for watching thank you for subscribing to Kowalski Mountain and we'll see you next time Gosh. Gosh. You scratch your butt, there you go. There you go, you got it. <laughs> you goofball. <laughs>